I am rolling out 60 different strategies by 60 different YouTube channels in 60 days. And this is strategy number eight, where we're going to have CSL in the casinos, a strategy called 321 Craps. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Craps Master Journey. Let's make it yours, too. <laughs> So like I said, this is the uh, strategy called 321 Craps. It's brought up by CSL in the Casino, which stands for Craps Strategies Live. He rolls out uh, different things in the casinos. Um, this one is in particular about the bubble craps and how he takes a strategy that he got from the Casino Strategy Podcast, podcast plus the Color Up um, strategy, and he re-rolled it. And he aired this one in April of 2019. At the current moment, it has over 17,000 different views. And what he does in the strategy is he starts with a $10 pass line bet. Okay, and that $10 pass line bet will win if you roll a 7 or 11 on a count. It'll lose if you throw a roll a 2, 3, or 12 on a come out and any other number will become the point. So what you do is you do a come out roll. Uh, we have a 6-6-12, six, six, that would lose obviously. I'm not gonna do that right now, just to show you a point. We have a 4-3-7, which wins. And we have another seven. Not a good start to this day here with this video, but hey, here's a 6-2-8. Eight. So eight would become the point. After he has a point established, what he does is he does three, two, one odds on that pass line. So in other words, if the six or eight is rolled, he'll go three times the odds, or three times the amount that we bet over, which is the point right here now. So we had rolled a eight, an eight, go three times the odds. So we have $10 out there, we would go $30 an odds. Your odds that you place underneath the pass line bet there so that way the uh, dealer knows that that is odds on that pass line. What he also does on the second roll, because the first roll would have been that come out roll and then again that point, the second roll he would go to a 22 um, bet. So keep in mind this is assuming that we're on a $5 table you can adjust this to whatever level that you want. Um, if you go on a $10 table, $15 table, $25 table, whatever your table is at the casino that you're playing with, this is how you can adjust it. So you would go $5 or one unit bets up here, $10 on there. If you go to the $10 table, it'd be $10 up here, $20 on there. Biggest thing with the strategy is though, you're going to three times odds, if it's a six or eight, you're going to two times odds if it's a five or nine, and you're placing one times odds on that dump, on, on the pass line if it's a four or ten. Okay, from here now, what he's going to do is he's just going to keep on rolling until he covers the pass line and the odds bets. So that means that I'm going to make, try to make as much profit as I can until I get at least. $40 in profit. After I get the $40 in profit and we'll keep it aside in our tray, we would turn our bets off and then let the roll finish out and hopefully that point would be made before the roll is done so we can collect on those uh, pass lines and, and the odds on the pass line. So let's take this money off. I have $200 in the tray and let's roll this out and see how it actually works and how it actually looks like in real life. Okay, puck is off. We're going to start with a $10 pass line bet. And coming out, we have a 538. So our point is 8. Again, since it's on the 8, we're going to go 3 times odds. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's $30. And I'm just going to change it up to make it look like 30. And then we're going to go with 22 inside. And I'm going to pick up $10 in nickels. And 
and we'll just put a cap on there. Again, like I said, we start off with a two hundred dollar bankroll. Okay, and we got dice out, and we have a three three six. So that's going to pay out seven dollars on there. And we're just going to rack that. And I'm going to put this on the side in the rack because we're going to try to make forty dollars in profits before we can turn those bets off. There's a 6612 boxcars that does nothing for the strategy. And we have a 617, so that's going to clear the strategy out. So we lose on all of these now. And what we would do is we would reset and start the strategy over. So again, we're going to start. I'm going to do this really quick to help with uh, making this a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pick up two quarters to help with those odds bets a little bit easier. Okay, and we're, again, we're going to start off with a $10 penciling bet. And we're coming out looking for a point. We have a 6511 that pays out on that pass line bet on a come out at 7 11 pace. We, we actually get paid out $10 on that. So it's a $10 profit by the way the puck is off. Okay, and looking for a point check. Coming up, 6339. So our point is going to be 9. And since it's on the 9, we're going to go with 2 times odds. We're actually putting $20 on the pass line bet. So if that, $20, or if that point is made, that $20 is actually going to earn us $30. Again, we're going to go with 22 inside. It's one unit on a five, six, eight, and nine. And dice up. We have a six, four, ten. Does nothing for the strategy. There's nothing on the ten. We have a four, three, seven. Again, short rolls it is not a friend to this strategy. Uh, so that is seven out. We lose all the money that's up here. <clears throat> And what we're doing is we're looking for one little bit longer roll here so that we can actually get paid out and get some of our, our profits back. Okay, point comes off. All the money's off the table. We're going to again start over with a $10 pass line bet. We have a 617 on the come out. It does pay out $10. So we'll put that in our rack. And we have a 5, 5, 10. Our 10. So our point will be 10. And since the point is 10, we go with 1 times odds. So we're only going to put $10 out there. And should that hit, if that should pay out, if that point hits, we'll actually pay out $20 for that 10 that's up there. Again, we're going to go 22 inside. And we got dice out. We're looking to make some money this time. We have a three, two, five. So kid is five. That pays out seven dollars. And we'll put that in our rack until we can get actually this time, since we have twenty dollars under, we're looking for twenty dollars in our profits. Okay, we have a three, one, four. That does nothing for the strategy. Dice out. And we have a 415 again that pays out $7. So we are currently at a $14 profit. Still looking for another $6 before we can turn those bets off. Again, once you get whatever your pass line bet is, plus the odds, you turn these off. 224 hard four. And we have a 415. Five is coming hard, coming strong. So that is $7 in profit. We have met our quota for the um, what we're trying to get to before we turn the bets off. We have $21 profit in the trade. We have $20 down there. So now what we do is we're going to turn all of our bets off on the table, except for the pass line and the odds. And now we're going to look for uh, that point to be hit here. So we have a 437. So we turn the odds off just in time. We're going to lose our pass line and our odds on the pass line and this stuff would be given back to us 
So this is not a loss on here. Okay, let's do one more shooter here, guys. Unless it's a short roll. Let's see if we can get a little bit longer of a one. So we're going to go $10 on our pass line. Coming out, dice out, looking for a point, and we got a point of 538. So soft eight, no field eight. And again, we're going to go 22 inside. And it does not matter that the point is eight on this strategy. We're still going to play the inside numbers on this. Um, if you really wanted to, you could actually not play that eight. And instead of being 22 inside, we can go like 16 inside. Uh, but since 22 is a relatively low uh, profit inv or money investment, we'll try to stay with that 22 inside. Again, we're going to place odds at three times odds. So we'll put $30 in odds out there. And dice out. And we have a 314. Does nothing for the strategy. 6511. Again, nothing for strategy crafts number that was. And we have a 314. Nothing. 213. The horns are hitting hard. And 314. Fours are coming out hard this time. And 415. That's going to pay out seven dollars. Again, we're looking to collect this time uh, forty dollars before we turn the bets off, since we have forty dollars on the pass line slash pass line odds. And we have a three two five five paid out to seven again. We have fourteen dollars collected, and we have a three two five again seven dollars. Twenty one dollars is collected. And we have a 314 back on that four again. He does nothing for the strategy. And 213, the hordes are coming back again. Weird rolls on this strategy today. 3155 five is hitting hard. We got seven dollars on that. So we are currently at 28 dollars in collections. Still looking for another 12 dollars before we turn those bets off. We have a 538, finally something other than that 54 or the horn numbers. So 8 is our point. What's going to happen is we're going to get paid out $7 on here. We get paid out $10 on the pass line bet. And our $30 in odds is going to pay out $25. So that was a big score that allowed us to get some of our money back. So what we're going to do now is we would take all these profits off the table. And we would go down to the bare minimum again. So what I would do is I would leave $10 out on the pass line. Leave the 22 up here. Right now, during the come out roll, these bets are off. And we would just start the strategy all over again. So we have a 6511 that did roll. Well, that's actually a 6511. That's going to pay up $10 on that pass line bet. Coming out, looking for that point. 325. So our new point is going to be 5. And again, 3 times odds into 6 and 8. 5 and 9 gets 2 times odds. So we're going to go with $20 in odds this time. And we have our 22 inside, and that is working right now. So now we're looking for $30 in profits before we turn those bets off. We have a 314 that does nothing for strategy. We have a 415, pays out $7. And again, we are looking for um, $30 here. So we need that $7 towards that 30. We have a 639, again, pays out $7. So we're at $14 profit so far. 639 again pays out seven dollars. We're at 21 dollars now.
and 617 out. So this is where we would lose all the money on the table here. Again, we started at $200 in a bankroll. This is, I forget how many shooters we actually had. Let's do a quick count up, see where we ended up, and we'll wrap the strategy up. So we have 25, one, two, three, four, five, so that's 100. 20, 30, 5, that's 40, 5, that's 50, 63, so we lost actually about $37. So again, this is a strategy um, kind of a little bit different. Uh, some people like it because they love pulling those odds. Those are considered free odds or free money for them. And um, other people do not play odds, but it is an option. It is a strategy that we can add to our craps arsenal. If you like the strategies that I'm presenting, uh, make sure that you click on that link on that side of the screen if you like these videos, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give me that thumbs up and share if you can. Hey, my name is Joe and this is my Craps Master Journey. Let's make it yours too.